I'm sure glad you're in your mag night, Dad. Me too. Now help anchor me with these kids. Once I measure the strength of the current, we can launch the remote mapping pingers. These instruments will measure the volume of water flowing from the melting ice shelf down into the open sea. Dad, you sure about this? Yeah, I should be okay. Should be okay? Very reassuring. Will, you said coming here would be a nice holiday. And when does that start exactly? <laughs> well, you have to admit, Keiko, the world's largest waterfall is an incredible view. When you told us this was bigger than Niagara Falls, I just couldn't imagine the world's biggest waterfall being underwater. Pretty awesome, eh, Jeffrey? I can see why this place would get a mention in the Chronicle of the Deep. A curtain of water and a great tunnel. Come on, do you really think there's a tunnel down there? I have a theory that the tunnel is hidden behind the waterfall. I'll feel safer when we launch the pingers and get back to the Aranax. The current's been measured and the information has been downloaded to the pingers. Okay, Ant. Deploying remote mapping pingers. If that tunnel is down there, they'll find it. been for generations. While others look up to the stars, we know there are an infinite number of things that shine in the darkness below. There are things lurking in the seas that long ago vanished into men. My family are explorers, and we explore the deep. It just stops? Why? And Keiko? I'm okay. My mom took some big hits. Keiko. Keiko. Are you okay? Say something. Ugh, I want a better holiday. <laughs> okay. Vital seem okay. How you feeling? Kind of like I fell down the largest waterfall in the world and ah, uh, landed on rocks. Dad, Lemurian symbol alert! Definitely Lemurian, but this is different from the others we've seen. You think it means big tunnel ahead? Wait. That's it. What does it mean? You said you translated this. Well, I translated great tunnel and great curtain of water and some kind of name. I don't know, the name of a household pet? Hmm. What? Lemurian's hard, okay? Now, priorities. Let's figure out how to get you back to the Aranax. Uh, I might need a minute, but seeing as how we're here, maybe we should keep going. No. The tunnel can wait until we're in the rover and properly equipped to explore. Jeffrey's acting weird. Weirder than normal, that is. Jeffrey doesn't act weird. Jeffrey, why are you acting weird? The current's coming up again. Grab hold of me! Kingo, take my hand! Meryl! I can't reach! Yes, you can! Try! Come on, Mom! I'll get her! Thrusters! Oh. No! Dad? 
Hey! Good. Mom's gone further into the tunnel, and she didn't respond to my calls. Keiko, do you read me? Okay, stay put. Uh, but... That's an order. As soon as the current eases, we'll come for you. Both of you. Hope you're hearing this, Keiko. <sighs> okay. It feels like the current is easing up already. Then we'll be with you soon. Anything there that'll identify your location? And I've got isopods. Big ones. Just like... Uh, too big for parasites. Uh, anyone interested in how I'm doing? Mom! Keiko! Mom, are you okay? Uh, I must have passed out back there. I'm a bit woozy. Otherwise, I couldn't be better. Can you tell us where you are? Well... Not any kind of a holiday destination I'd choose. No position data either. Not surprising down here. All right. Fontaine and I are coming in to find you both. Stop! There is? What are you doing here? And what are you wearing? I was monitoring the Aranax's location. I was worried you might be exactly where you are. Do not go further into that tunnel. But Ant and Keiko are in there. Lost. No. Oh, then understand. This is no tunnel. It's alive. The tunnel's a creature? Wow. How can you possibly think this is cool? These walls are living flesh. Yes. Part of a giant sea worm's digestive tract. Awesome! No, it isn't. It is awesome, but not exactly safe. It feeds off the waterfall. That's what the current is. The creature breathes in seawater and sucks in food with every breath. So we could rescue Mom now, then find the other end of this thing and wait until Ant gets pooped out? If I could turn into poop, make sure that Fontaine is the one who has to catch me. Now, I, I don't think you realize how serious this is. The longer we're in here, the more likely we'll wake the creature. It's asleep? If it was awake, we wouldn't be alive. Then we better not waste any time. Keiko, Ant, don't go anywhere. My feet are stuck in some goo. I'll try to soften it up with my laser. No! Th that could wake the creature. Keiko, wait until we get to you. You need something to hold you when the current comes up anyway. That goo might be just the thing. Roger that. I've got those isopods, too. <sighs> Hope they're friendly. Uh, well, I got one that's super friendly. Uh, I can't get it off. This guy's slimy, ugly, and doesn't mix well with others. Hey, Fontaine, I finally found you a boyfriend. <sighs> this from a guy whose only friend is a fish. Well, that's strange. They just took off. I told you you need to work on your social skills. They're scurrying off here, too. The creature's going to breathe again. And I've got no way to anchor us against the current without agitating it. Quick, this way! He knows a way. Come on, hurry! It was here. It saved me once. You've been here before? Years ago. The Chronicle records that the hero, Aeolus, with a group of fellow Lemurians, found the tunnel. But they realized the tunnel was actually a monumental. When they accidentally woke it from its 10,000 year slumber. Jeffrey! <laughs> Monumental? So that's Lemurian for giant sea worm? Uh, no, it refers to a whole class of creatures. Roughly translated, it means mega big. Uh, misread that. I thought it was someone's name, possibly a pet. Uh, right. Uh, 
Only Aeolus survived and honored the other's sacrifice by writing about it in the Chronicle. He did include a warning. The same warning he posted outside the tunnel. That symbol was a warning? Dad, I'm pretty sure your Lemurian isn't as good as you think it is. You're right. I'm sorry. But I don't need Lemurian to get Keiko back. That's what I'm doing. Let's go find the others. Leave Jeffrey alone! Aunt? Mom! Oh, glad you're here. There's something wrong with my night. What? My air scrubbers must have been damaged. Ugh. But that doesn't explain why my feet are starting to warm up a lot. That goo is eating your suit. Stand back! Is this the current starting again? Worse. The creature is stirring. Our presence is upsetting its digestion. If we wake it, it will eat even faster and more. Okay, that's softening it. Help me out. That stuff must be some kind of acid that breaks down food. Jeffrey? How did you... Uh, now, Jeffrey, so your home is destroyed, we're trapped inside a creature that wants to digest us, and Mom's air is running out. There's absolutely no reason... Ta-da! <laughs> These things are trying to tear us apart! These isopods live in the dark. Mom, try your lights! Copy. Better save power. With your air scrubbers out, you'll need it. We should head back toward the tunnel mouth. Okay, but rustling those bugs has chewed up more of my air. Try not to talk, Mom. Save your breath. Jeffrey? Where did Jeffrey go? Oh no, the current's coming back. Hurry, Mom, grab something. Hang on. Try not to bump into anything. Oh no! Hang on, Fontaine. We're going after him. Dad! Stay out of the acid! Come on! Everyone okay? Dad, Mom's scrubbers aren't keeping up. She's running low on air. Her air is so low, she'll never make it out against the current. I'm okay, but getting weaker. Hang in there, Keiko. Ah, is that something useful? The pingers! What about them? If the Aranax is still communicating with the pingers, then we can communicate with the Aranax. We can use a remote control signal. To control the rover, and the rover has air. We'll be able to get Keiko out of here. It's all working. Engine's on. Will, my suit won't last much longer. Will the rover make it in time? It'll make it. And thanks to the pingers, it's got this tunnel's exact location. Don't worry, Keiko. You're gonna get that holiday. There you are, Jeffrey. Where did you go? More bugs! Bigger ones! Kids, keep the bugs away from your mother while I steer the rover. Okay. I need enough speed to break it clear of the waterfall and get to the tunnel. I'm in. You should be all right. Our lights have no effect on the isopods. That's impossible! It worked before! Ah! Ant! Whoa! Come on! My brother's room is scarier than 
you. Mom! Mom, we need to hurry before she loses consciousness. so Mom can get out of it. I'm ready. Fill it. Time to go, everyone. What are you doing? The Mom's gonna need help once she's in the rover. Need this rebreather as soon as you eject from the night. Do it! Now! I've got you, Keiko. We'll be out of here soon. Ed, you need to move fast. Mom! Uh, should I give Mom out to mouth? <coughs> nice work, Ant. The thought of mouth to mouth from you scared Mom back to life. And get ready to roll. <laughs> Gotta love the Magnite. Okay, get us out of here. Uh, uh, Will. Don't worry, Darius. We haven't forgotten you. <laughs> Crude, but very effective. Has anyone seen Jeffrey? Don't worry, Ant. I'm taking care of Jeffrey. Just go! Ant! giant sea worm. What's that tiny dot? That tiny dot is the entire Aranax. <laughs> we didn't wake our friend, but maybe we gave him a bit of indigestion. <sighs> Two showers and I still smell like regurgitated seafood. Ugh. I think it's time I gave you some lessons on ancient Lemurian. Could you show what the differences between household pets and terrifying sea monsters? That would be appreciated. Narius, 
The Lemurians called creatures like this monumentals? That's right. The Chronicle tells us there are still many different kinds of monumentals out there in the oceans. Be ready. I'm sure you'll soon find even more. But not before my holiday. Are all the monumentals this big? No, no. Most of them are bigger. 